Hello and welcome to today's video. Today's video you're going to find out all about a free 4x VPS. I'm going to tell you what a VPS is and why and how you might use it on yourself for your own trading. If you stick around to the end then I'm going to tell you what VPS I've been using for the past four years and how I get it for free and how you can get it for free also. Okay, virtual private server. VPS for short. What is it and why might you need one for your trading? Well, a VPS is pretty much a Windows based computer. It can be Windows, Linux, in my case, in probably in your case, it's going to be a Windows based virtual computer. So, what it is, it's like having a computer that's kind of hosted in the cloud. The companies that offer VPSs, they have racks and racks of servers in a factory somewhere and they give you access to a little part of that where you can put windows on it, which you get access to remotely. So you can access this virtual computer using your remote computer, that being your laptop or you know, your home PC, your phone or your iPad, there's loads of different ways of accessing that now. And what it's for is for you to then put your trading software on it. As some of you might know, I use MultiCharts, that's a trading software. Uh, but you can you know, use MetaTrader, MT4, or Ninja, TradeStation, Ami Broker, whatever you might want. So it's this virtual computer that's hosted somewhere in the cloud, and you put your trading software on it. But why do I need one of these VPSs then? What's the point? Why don't I just run my own software on my own computer? Well, it's mainly for algo traders, those of us trading algorithms or running automated trading. So we have our software on this virtual computer. And the benefits are that there's no downtime with that computer. They're not really subject to internet connection problems, power cuts, that sort of thing. When you trade in algorithms like I do, we, I could be taking trades throughout the night when I'm asleep. So I can't keep a, an eye on my computer at home. You know, if there's a, there only has to be like a power cut or even an internet disconnect. And then the trading software is going to get disconnected. And unless it's particularly clever and it can reboot and connect itself, then it's going to cause problems. We're going to miss trades. We might miss getting out of a trade if we're already in a trade. So it's much more convenient to run your trading software on this much more reliable virtual private server. But it's not just the disconnection problems that the computers are prone to. It's also prone to crashing, that sort of thing. So if you're using your trading computer to do other tasks as well, you know, internet browsing, email, whatever you want to do on your own computer, you know how sometimes they crash, um, and that can be a problem. When you're using your trading software on a dedicated server, then all you're doing is you're running your trading software. That's it. So much less likely to crash. And like I previously said, you access these via your computer. So you just, just log on. I use a little program called uh, Microsoft Remote Desktop. I believe there is a couple, but just download that application either on your phone, tablet, computer. I actually use a Mac, so I'm a Mac user. Just download the, the Microsoft application and with a couple of clicks, get straight on and log on to your server. And it looks like you're using a Windows machine. So which VPS have I been using and how much does it really cost? Well, I've been using Amazon or Amazon Web Services or AWS. They call their VPSs uh, instances or it's under EC2 when you look at Amazon's website. And what they do is they offer a free tier and they offer it for just 12 months. So at the end of the 12 months, what I've been doing is uh, applying with a new email address, signing up for a new VPS. And the downside is you do have to swap over your trading software and your strategies and that sort of thing. But I actually find it's quite good practice because it just keeps your, your memory fresh, your mind fresh. So it is completely free. It's their free tier and they give you what's called a T2 micro. Now, another downside is this instance that they allow you to have on the free tier has only got one gigabyte of RAM. Now, you'll have to check with your software. However, I think if you check with multi-charts, which what I use, um, I think they recommend minimum of about four gigabytes RAM. However, 
I've never had a problem uh, running it on one gigabyte. Run it for nearly four years without any problems whatsoever. The only downside is it can get slow at some times, but in all honesty, that's never affected the way it's executed trades or anything like that. Um, to be honest, I generally don't really use it. I, I switch it on at the weekends, off at the end of the week, and generally it doesn't get used in between. But sometimes it does flash up, you know, running a lot of memory. But I can honestly say in four years, I've run multi-charts faultlessly um, with up to sort of 20 charts, or 20 strategies fully running with automated trading. So if you want free VPS as well, go onto Amazon, look at their um, EC2 and look for their free tier, their T2 micro instance. So there you have it. There's my solution to a free Forex trading VPS. You now know what a VPS is. You've probably got a good idea whether you need one or not. And you can get, you now know where to get a free one if you need it. If you've already got a free one or you've got some other solutions or other links to some really good VPSs, please comment and link them down below to help some others out. I'd like to take a look at them too. Like I say, I've been using AWS or Amazon for almost four years and as of yet, I haven't seen the need to change. So that's it guys. I hope you liked this video. Please like it if you did and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you wanna find some of my other stuff, blog posts, downloads, then visit my website, um, thetransparenttrader.com. If you've got any questions, leave them down below. Or if you want to be more personal, you can email me, jared at thetransparenttrader.com, and I'll get back to you ASAP. So until the next one, thanks, guys, and goodbye.